Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting Dark Dimension 7 and Gear 19 progression update. Uh, I've been doing this every couple of weeks just to give you guys a, a glimpse of at least what's feasible for free to play, but as well, how I'm kind of trending in terms of the gear progression um, as I'm going through the day to day, purchasing gear, but as well as accumulating all the materials uh, coming from raid rankings, but as well, uh, each of the orbs are earned after the completion of Incursion 2 raid. So we're gonna be assessing that guys, uh, as well as the introduction of my next character that I am prepping for because we've almost wrapped up the first one. Uh, so it's really nice to see kind of this natural progression, especially with it now almost being exactly one month since uh, the induction of gear tier 19 into Marvel Strike Force. So let's get right to it, guys. First and foremost, um, in case you guys aren't aware uh, in the end game anyways for gear tier 19, there is only two ways to access this gear so far as purchasing directly through the gold store. Um, and you'll see that on the first tab as well as any of the uh, rewards earned from raids. It's going to be available in the way of these Crimson Gear raid orbs as well as Armory 19. Um, and typically that's how we've been kind of amassing the resources that we've had. In addition to that, what they have done nicely is um, they revised the raid rankings where there's definitely more rewards now and opportunity to get that so uh this will be the first time in my video where we kind of see the the natural flow of it but how much significantly higher it is now compared to the previous weeks so at the end of the day i mean i've addressed this in my pe previous videos but i mean um you know what we're trying to accomplish with this is that it gives us a gauge of how long dark dimension 7 is going to take and you know our the gold supply store and raids uh, good enough well they, you know I, I think we've kind of already addressed this previously but they're helping but at the end of the day um, once the developers and the game uh, allows more of a, a mainstream avenue we can obviously get the uh, get Dark Dimension 7 faster, especially for the end game players, right? Typically, we've seen in the past, it takes two to three months to enter, and then it takes another two to three months to actually progress through and finish. But um, this is this is a brand new resource, right? We saw this with uh, Dark Dimension, I believe it was Dark Dimension 5, where it was the first time Teal Gear was revealed to us. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, because of it being a new resource, they have to bottleneck it as uh, the company has to earn money too. So it's definitely understandable for sure. Now, guys, um, this is the one week update that I did previously for Robbie Rias here. As you can see, um, all just Mystic Gear, all the catalysts, and we had two uniques in that first week. So, I mean, I thought this was a pretty good drop rate, and you can kind of see the natural trend of things, right? How it grew, how much it grew. But um, now, when we fast forward this update here, actually, uh, to one month, it grew exponentially. And um, I want to, you know, obviously factor here that the big thing coming was um, the raid rankings, right? You can see uh, in one, in three weeks later, you know, we went from 262 catalysts to uh, 1780. You know, that's, uh, that's, those are some astronomical numbers. That's almost like eight, nine times the amount that we're typically seeing. And again, big chunk of it really coming from the raid rankings and us just going through and accumulating more and more and it compounds for sure. Uh, you can see with the origin gear, it, it grew from 72 pieces uh, to 571. Uh, so again, that's almost seven, eight X, uh, due partially because of the raid rankings, but as well us accumulating more of these orbs. Uh, and then it didn't grow as much, but the mini uniques obviously takes more time because you only, I only basically get one orb per raid. So, I mean, you're really only getting four pieces per day, uh, when you're doing this. So it's, it makes sense. This is going to be more linear as you can see 13 pieces all the way to 81, uh, in that span of the month. And then finally, um, yeah. And then the uniques, you, you basically have to wait for the RNG. The, the one thing that's kind of misleading about this analysis is that, um, you know, you can get like, for example, two pieces of a miasma in the first week, but it's not linear because you may not have that same RNG when you're going to the store. Now you're refreshing and constantly targeting it. That's a different story. I haven't done that just yet. I may have to do that now that I have a full month of activity to see kind of where we're landing with the uniques. But we went from two pieces to eight miasma pieces. And what was really cool is I found out that there was actually six more pieces actually in the daily login calendar um, for all the new Crimson Gear. So make sure you guys are logging in every day and claiming that because that, that's that's a really big chunk. Six pieces, um, you know, that's 4.8 million um, just because they cost 800k a piece. So that's really big, guys. It's a huge savings there. Really, really like that addition. Now, um, in this video, I do want to talk about the next character that I'm gearing up. And again, nothing is for certain, but you always have a game plan. Uh, so that way you at least have an action plan uh, to progress forward. Uh, I think the next character likely is going to be, uh, based on any all the feedback I've seen, all strategies uh, involved with the whales and Kraken's finally finishing Dark Dimension 7, uh, it seems like a lock that Super Scroll or Apocalypse has to be with the next two, um, just because the, the initial nodes are meant for them. So I am going to go that route. 
I'm going to bring in uh, Super Scroll as my next character here. So the catalyst here, as you can see, did not change because they share the same catalyst in terms of the, uh, you know, armor, uh, basic damage, um, focus, health, and so forth. Now, what I do want to talk about here is, though, um, what I really like about these numbers is that we can finally start taking a look at another trait beyond mystic gear right so we can see here uh within the month here of activity anyways uh we had 376 origin gear pieces for bio gear uh conversely 571 for mystic so uh you can see some different trends developing because at the end of the day you gotta have to uh, supplement what you're seeing in as uh, shortfalls and kind of work on that difference right 81 mini uniques here for the mystic side whereas uh for bio we only have 31 so it just turns out that the rng has not been that great for my bio gear side which means i may need to focus on that a little bit more so that's why it's good to review all your traits see how they're trending Clearly, I need more, a lot more work in bio. And guess what? Super Scroll does need more gear and resources than uh, bringing up a character like Robbie Ria. So I'm going to have more focus and attention on that. But what I do like is that the uniques here, the alien spores, is actually on point. It's seven pieces versus the eight pieces. So at least that average is actually growing really well, which means, um, you know, it accumulates, right? Uh, in, a, in the span of a couple months, you're generating resources for the five traits so naturally you're going to see this grow but what i'm probably going to be doing a little bit more is just tracking all the traits so that way i do have that pinpoint focus of what to hone in on when i do see said resources uh in the store which is pretty big now guys into the analysis here of the chart and how it's actually looking and comparatively now to everything i've got i love summarizing this just to give us a really good snapshot of you know not just how we're trending but kind of where the shortfalls are and what we got to focus in on especially now that we have another character to analyze in super scroll so um i revised this table previously it only did include uh robbie Rias here so we obviously are very very in point um in terms of where we're, we're seeing right but uh, as you can see compared to comparatively super scroll to robbie Rias. He does need more gear, right? More origin pieces. He needs more catalysts as well as the mini unique. So th that is kind of why I was leaning away from bringing some of these uh, mythic characters first. But at the end of the day, um, if they design these nodes to be that gruesome, I think it makes sense to at least bring in either um, Super Scroll or Apocalypse in the initial three nodes. So that way you have some sort of advantage at least uh, to, to chuck through it. And at the same time, um, Super Scroll is going to make it easier on your team as well. Now, having said that, I do want to point out here that uh, we're looking really good after a month, guys. Now, you can see across the board here, when we take a look at the differentials, uh, compare that monthly uh, inventory that we have right now uh, versus the required character um, pieces here for Origin, Catalyst, Minis, and Uniques. I mean, we're looking really good, guys. I, all, all across the board, this is trending in the right way because what we estimated before was that it takes about a month to get one character, but we're actually trending even better than that. Um, obviously, with the Origin gear, as you can see, we're lacking you know, close to 500 pieces, but um, they are nice and cheap. They're only 200k for 10 pieces in the store, so it's really nice to hone in on them whenever they are around. Uh, Catalyst, I think you're going to be naturally fine because, look, we almost have enough for both characters and we're tr we were supposed to be trending one character a month, right? So the catalysts are, are not a concern whatsoever. They're going to trend very nicely. The mini uniques are probably the other secondary point that we got to hone in on because we're not getting as much. Um, and, and to be fair, we're only getting that one orb per day, right? Unless you guys are ranking in the top, I, I believe the top 100 to get these rewards. So obviously that's going to play a big factor. For myself personally, uh, we're not doing that, right? We're, you know, top 150, top 200 in raids. So we're just not getting as many minis as we'd like, even though we're doing 60% on incursion 2.3 and then lastly i don't think um you know we're 15 pieces out here for the unique i don't think that's an issue though because i uh, remember um you're getting naturally all these pieces over time together so this does not paint a very good picture because you know like i said earlier um we actually have half the resource already in the month uh so give another a monthly update here uh will we have both both these characters ready to go in terms of a unique perspective it's gonna be very very close so um yeah uh, uh further to my update from last time i think definitely the bigger focus here is going to be origin gear uh, as well as many uniques but i think catalysts and uniques are naturally going to be fine so as long as we're doing a job in terms of just honing in on these resources when they are in store especially um, when you see those big uniques that you do need to focus in on so guys uh, lastly, I always want to just put this into findings for you, but yeah, just try to buy everything in store, like I said, but it definitely does look like the origin um, and many uniques and uniques are uh, bigger focus than you think. Uh, catalysts are going to be okay, so you can definitely ignore that because naturally we're just going to be getting that over time, uh, but it's looking good and good, guys. Uh, like I said, averaging one to one and a half characters per month. We look like we're going to be starting things here, and in, in, I think I'm optimistic to start Dark Dimension 7 here in 
I would say in another two months, uh, at least to get some progress in. And then as we, you know, as we start working our way in Dark Dimension, we can still accumulate gear and so forth. It's been pretty good. Uh, hopefully, they open up more avenues for for obviously Crimson Gear as well in the game. I sh I, th I definitely think we we would just because now there's three uh, three uh, whales that have completed Dark Dimension Seven. So usually uh, they signal that with the opening the floodgates a little bit easier. So we'll see in the in the coming months for sure. And then lastly, guys, um, it does look like Scroll and Apocalypse are essential in the first three notes. So I don't know if I'm going to bring in uh, both of them, but I know for sure that either Scroll or Apoc is coming in with me. So I'll have one of the two at least. Um, that way they can kind of sponge the burden that we have because uh, I just it's going to be really hard to balance bringing both of them in and still wanting to start City pretty smooth. So that's kind of my logic there. But let me know what you think in comments below, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this update, but it's been great to see how we've been trending. Uh, I definitely do keep on continuing uh, to make updates on this just because it's interesting to analyze but as well. Helps me keep on track as well to understand, you know, what are going to be my gear needs and what I got to hone in on. So do appreciate your guys' time as always on this series. Thank you for uh, everything. And let me know what you think in comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.